All right, everyone, today's role analysis is with Kyle the Bull Sleeman, and uh, he's just got really good athleticism, uh, as well as kind of a dominant gripping style due to his judo base. So as he comes in here and he grabs my collar with that thumb deep inside, I'm a little bit worried about a choke. As soon as that second hand goes in, you can see I put up a frame and that blocks his arm from reaching over and going for that cat scratch choke. Now, I'm not really solving the problem here. So what I have to do is I have to rock him forward, scoop under his leg, threaten a sweep, and then he'll release the grip because he doesn't want to get caught overreaching. So sometimes the best way to deal with the problem is kind of indirectly, just as I did. He clears the grips, he shifts to the side, kind of knee cut position. Um, I definitely don't want his second leg free, just he's way too mobile, so I'm pretty active in keeping him tied up. I managed to grab the sleeve there, and I hit one of my favorite sweeps there that I learned from Michelle Nicolini at a seminar. And I just extract my knee. Since he wasn't letting me up, I just pull my legs out. Now, whenever someone fights a sweep, I always draw a circle. The reason I like circling is because the back exposure will force them to give up the sweep. Now, as I go to break this grip, look at the beautiful timing. I break the grip. I'm, he's blocking me with his knuckles. As I finally rip away, I lean back a little too far. He tips me, secures my leg, and switches. That was beautiful. The timing on that spectacular. As I go for a little shin-to-shin -shin butterfly here, you can see I still have the lapel feet. Because he's a competitor, I know he's never going to just give up a sweep. So I have to kind of fight all the way through it first. I have to take him down, and then I have to fight to establish top position. So kind of similar to before, what I do is I circle towards the back. And I know sometimes as you pursue, you can get swept. So you got to be very careful not over chasing the sweep. As I kind of enter this camping position, Joseph Chen style, I start to drive my head forward, my shoulder under his chin, and I start to use a combination of shin to shin pummeling as well as knee cuts over the thigh. I cleared the butterfly uh, just as Joseph Chen did with Andy Varela. And now I take a little bit of a gamble here. I post on my head, I post on my hand, I try to hip switch, and he actually extracts my leg and tips me through to come on top. And the very nice thing there was he tried to pass right off the sweep, which I always encourage people to do. That's the best time because there's no established guard yet. From here, I'm again in that setup guard position. I feed the lapel, you know, it's kind of my favorite tag position here. And as he back steps, I know that his weight wants to shift towards his legs, and I want to shift his weight the opposite direction. As I come up, I threaten a leg drag, and I'm a little bit worried about him attacking my feet. So I tuck my feet in and I get up. Every time I fight to establish a sweep from top turtle, I have to be careful because he can take me down. This is a perfect example. I sprawl on number one, but freeze. Look, I have no balance where my leg is posted on the ground because it's vertical. So as he drives in with his shoulder, I try to elevate his hips since they were already up. Check out how he blocks my second leg and rotates through that gap and he negates the sweep. That is the mindset of a competitor. He never wants to give up uh, even an advantage too easily. Big thank you to Kyle Sleeman for agreeing to come and videotape our role. I really appreciate it. And if you didn't know, this is him cleaning out at Toronto Open. I'll be posting a link, but check out Kyle on BJJ Fanatics as well. He has multiple courses.